Hey guys, welcome back to Clash with Bardo. Tonight I'm going to be doing a bit of an analysis um, of a fresh hit and then a re-hit on a base in the latest episode of MLCW. It was from War Demon um, in Aussie Woot Woot, like I said, fighting off uh, LP6 Pegasus. Now, what I'll do is I'll go through some of the pre-planning, um, what we talked about, how we discussed the plan. We did this on Discord. It was good. It was exciting. Um, unfortunately, didn't come through with the plan to start off with. Now, um, we did the re-hit. Um, I actually hit that with my Town Hall 9, and I'll show how we changed it, modified it, and possibly what we could have done to improve it for a fresh hit for next time. Still a very viable strat. This is something I did over 12 months ago. I've got a video on my YouTube. It's on my popular section. Um, feel free, go, go ahead, have a look. The attacks on that are still very viable to what we're looking at now. So what we can see with this base here, where this clan castle is, um, that can actually be drawn with a haste spell on the outside, and you send in some loons um, to go in at that mortar. What that's going to do is that's going to draw the air-activated troops only. So if it's any ground, Falks, um, Barbarians, Goblins, if it's uh, a Hound, it won't activate them, so you don't need to fight those particular troops. Now, it's a Lightning Lava Loon based attack, uh, Lightning Earthquake based attack. If you've got level six Lightnings, Two lightnings and one of any level earthquake will remove it at Town Hall 9. But obviously you should have your level 3. So you don't use a donated level 4. There's no need. Your males will get a better haste or you might use a max poison, a max a skeleton spell for your rage effect. There's all these options. Now the queen, she pats around... Um, around that air defense that makes her a good subject for being close to a lava loom pop you can see one blower's down the bottom it's not going through the middle pathing you see one blower up the top and that's onto that top air defense so the reasoning that i had with um, war demon after the fact probably was a bit of missight on where we used our heroes we'll get to that we'll see both the replays um but the reasoning was, if we remove this top air defense, that top blower that's going up into that sort of range, that's going to do nothing to you. The bottom blower's down there somewhere, and that means you can send in lava hounds and loons all the way through the middle. They'll finish around the queen, and you'll do a rage, and then those raged up pups will explode causing a lot of grief to you. you see there's only one archer tower one wizard tower and the expo out the back there there's not a lot of major defenses that are going to cause absolute grief to the pups and the pops and it's a good viable strategy because what happens then is you see the traps on it if it does fail it gives you a solid repeatable army and you can go from there. Other things that you notice on the base, because you don't just want to say you have to use this army. The enemy king is down the bottom. You can actually get him on a queen walk or on a um, king sacrifice. There are many other ways you can attack this base. But this is just something that we came up with. And we'll show both the hits and we'll go through sort of what happened, where, why, and... Um, how the re-hit got rid of that and made it successful. So it's something I've been trying to do is analyse all levels of the game. Nines, tens, elevens, we'll get that volume down a little bit. So you can see the earthquake, you can see he's done the split so it's made sure it's hit the um, expo as well. That's good. And that gets 20% knocked off, 21% off that expo. Now the reason we're doing the pathing on that mortar there is later on, your loons are going to path into that air defense. That was very specific. Now we'll pause that. Now what's happened is nothing's been drawn out of the clan castle, so you know it's going to be some kind of ground activated only. So it's likely to be a hound. Very popular at Town Hall 9 at this stage. Um, so you know you can completely avoid that. We were ready for a hound. We knew how we were going to kill it. Uh, sorry, we were ready for a hound option. What we probably weren't ready for was where we used our heroes. Now, the queen is over here. She's drawable from the outside. But our initial plan was to have the heroes come up the top here to come down. We'll get the old drawing pen out. To have old Jimmy Bob up here, the queen above him, and to have Jimmy come in and go that way and the queen to remove the three defences here. In the end, they weren't real high value. And it probably would have been better off to have that plan, okay, if it's a hound, let's go and use the heroes here and um, run the heroes down here. Remove that, that, that. 
which will make the pops better and easier, even if you don't get the enemy queen. Let's keep going with the raid. So we had the plans for that. So the king and the queen go down. Old Jimmy Bob and the queen, level 28. Uh, Jimmy and the queen behind. So that's good. He's got that started. And it was intended to use three early hounds with a little bit of a spread to pick up any of the traps. The king and the queen are up the top there going for it. Jimmy's rage ability popped. I'll just talk on that rage ability. Probably wasn't the best idea to rage old Jimmy because what will happen there is he's going to be coming into the um, range on the enemy clan castle, drawing that hound and making it problematic for any lava, lava pup pops. So you probably... One missight there was maybe we should have used the baby dragon. That way we could have forced... Uh, where are we? We could have forced our king. So old Jimmy Bob would have gone that way if we had have used a baby dragon there, BBD, to remove that, 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 maybe a loon or two to remove that archer tower as well, and then had our heroes going this way. Later on, they would activate the clan castle, but at that stage, it wouldn't be a major problem. You can see now there's an air skeleton. That's going to hurt our pups at the start. The hastes, there was only two loons over on the side there. So there wasn't a lot of loons very quickly going into those air defences. And what that meant was one hound's already dead, two hounds are under half, the second one pops. There was two heat seekers going into that bottom one. So there's not really a lot getting over towards this queen. She is griefing the hound. All the pups are getting killed from the outside defences. Um, and the queen, you see, she's she's really taken next to nothing. She's taken probably 20% damage. One pup just had a shot there and knocked off about 10%. So you don't need the pups to go for long under rage. But the problem was she just mauled it. Now, the, the, um, the loons actually did get a drop on her on the air defense. That could have been a byproduct later on of planning to try to do that. But you can see there the, the um, Tesla cell up the top. That caused a little bit of grief to the queen. The heroes didn't get a lot, so they were quite low value. And the queen, there was no way that those pops were going to get there. It wasn't known where the traps were or anything like that. This was a fresh hit, so you can see a heat seeker up the top there. So all we saw out of that raid was a lot of the red air traps and we saw the heat seekers. There was two heat seekers in the middle, one heat seeker up the top there, so it's likely there would be a, another heat seeker up the top because there was none on the either side of those air defences. Um, so that's the first hit. What I'll do is I'll pause on that. We'll have a bit of a chat when we go on to the next one um, and we'll see what it is there. There was a couple of troll buildings, no troll Teslas. That was a possibility we needed to keep our eyes on. Okay, so we've seen where three of the heat seekers are. We've seen where a lot of the red traps are. We know there's a Tesla cell up top. We know that there is a hound in the clan castle, so we don't need to run those same ideas again. You can see a very slight variation on the army troops. Um, more loons, I think it was, there was no need to take, to use a haste early, there was no need to take a rage, because what there's going to be is a total flip on this base. Um, the intention on the re-hit will be, um, no, that's not what I want, let's get the drawings up. Okay, the drawings are up. So the intention is going to be to lightning out that um, air defence. The Queen's going to pat around this area, so what I wanted to have was old Jimmy Bob coming down the bottom here with the Queen behind him, so the good old Queen, old Queensy, to come down this direction. Now I can see from, take that away, you can see from the pathing, it's not likely that Jimmy's going to activate the Queen by himself, because he's going to hit camp, camp, storage, she's going to be interested, she's going to be standing there and ready, but what's going to happen is, your queen doing this is your queen's going to be there she's going to want to shoot these buildings as well and that's going to then bring the queen out to her so there are other ways you can use your king to be able to activate the enemy queen by popping his rage ability the rage ability does a um we'll just use it here i'll put a little circle say your king's there if you do a rage on your king so if jimmy bob if he gets raged up your barbarians are going to be coming out in all these spots here in a bit of a spray effect do it 
learn it, practice it. And what happens is sometimes you're lucky that might trigger the enemy queen and then the other barbarians actually get pulled onto her. It's a small effect, but it is useful. Now, with this base, we know that there's two heat seekers in there and we know that there's one or two, possibly two heat seekers there. So if we finish on that, it's not too bad, providing you're going to get loon support onto that base. You don't have to kill the queen. She's going to be dealt with and there's going to be no hound pop. So let's get the replay going. We'll run it in full mode. I'll pause as I'm going through and just show um, how I did with the raid. So the idea, if you're doing a lightning lava loon strat, is don't select your lightning and zoom in. Zoom in first while you've got your goblin or a loon selected. You zoom in first, and if you can splash the enemy queen, beautiful, get some damage on it. Now you see that was probably a second too early, and the queen took maybe 5% damage. It wasn't a whole lot. Now... That um, cannon isn't going to affect that wizard, and the wizard's going to go from that to that, well, yeah, hello, to that, and then come down the bottom. So Jimmy comes out. We know that that wizard is going to get those buildings up top to turn him around. It takes one shot for a level six wizard to, to remove a builder's hut, and you can see that effect there with those barbarians coming out. They activate the queen, and then my queen was behind going, hey, you going, gives her a bit of a slap and tickle, and you don't need to pop your Rage Ability. Otherwise, you could have just popped your Rage Ability. Now, you can see, I'll just pause this here. You can see two early loons on this cannon. The reason being is you know your queen's going to run up there. She's going to activate that and give it a how you go on. And that's going to kill it. If you can keep your queen alive, good. If not, so be it. She's likely not going to go in and draw that hound. Because what will happen is she'll want to kill all these buildings, take too long, and your loons are all going to be tracking in and removing that anyway. Now, hits a early heat seeker. Um, you can see there's quite a spread of loons here. You only ever go two or three loons at a time when you're doing a spread like that. Let's uh, have a look. Another air skeleton. You needed two haste early because you're going through this blower here. That's giving a lot of grief. Two haste early. You're losing one hound at the start. So there's three hounds on the table. Out comes that fourth hound. That triggers one of the red bombs. That's that's good. You can see a third haste hitting the field. That leaves just one left. And you can see triggering in there. Now, that's shooting all these, but there was no wizard towers giving that middle section grief. The baby dragon was deployed, hopefully to be able to activate that defense kill it if possible but activate it probably a little bit low dropped on the replay and then you can see that last hand coming through almost dead um a dozen or so loons minions everywhere it's a raid where you've got to be very careful that you have enough cleanup troops you've got to make sure it's like hogging when you use loons you know the loons are going to finish at the end so you get your minions going up the top you know that when you start your loons generally there's defenseless buildings up top and you can bust out your minions early, and if they're on the table for two minutes, that's two minutes of damage that they're doing, which sometimes is going to reduce how many you actually need. Now, you can see the old gobbo there drawing the enemy hound at the end. Let's watch that through as one smooth raid. Um, yeah, so for me, this is an army that's highly viable. Um, sometimes you don't need to use the lightning, sometimes you can haste loon the extreme outside air defences and save a huge amount of spells. And then that times when you're doing that, you can then do things like have extra rage, have heals. Um, you can also uh, save them and maybe use a freeze. It really depends. There's so many viable options for this army. But you can see it's quite fluid, done well with the uh, pops. The wizard starts off a bit slow. You see old Jimmy hits the table. That wizard turns. That was perfect timing there. And that pop on that king, just getting those few barbarians out, meant you got to hold the ability on the queen and save that for later. So you can see there, he did have two air traps, one hound in the clan castle. So the, the hound pops, the pups, they're going to deal with those skeleton spells, traps, eventually. And that's it. So, yeah, for me, this has been an army that's still completely viable. Um, it's just about managing to utilise your heroes if 
there's a clan castle like if that was a baby dragon and a witch in the clan castle then you would of course draw that to a corner with a minion and you would kill that with another baby dragon and your heroes behind it that way you draw the witch you don't get the skeletons coming over to your heroes you deal with the air cc first but um yeah hope i've helped and as always clash on Thunderbolt and lightning, very, very frightening. Game.